and welcome to another episode of Percy Plays Guns FC with me, Andy. Um, I'm bringing you to the transfer screen because we've had three new people come to our club since our last match in the FA Cup. Uh, we've also had five games in the interim period as well, so we'll go through them in a sec. Just have a look at these guys. We've got Jamie Calvin, who's come in, 23 year old forward. Um, yeah, nice physicals. Good decision making, which I like for a forward. It's always good if you've got somebody who can make the right decision to go and, and score and get in the good positions. Good dribbling, good finishing, decent heading, decent first touch. Yeah, yeah, looking pretty good. Looking at his history. Uh, originated from Watford. Hasn't really done much. Did play for Tiverton last year in the Premier South, so the same level as we are at the moment. And scored six goals, so we know he can do it, even though he's on a six and a half. Um, yeah, he's come in and scored one goal since he's been here. So, yeah, useful. Um, Kaid Mohammed is an interesting one. He's a 35-year-old Yemeni full international uh, who's actually going to go on international leave at the moment and he's just he got injured pretty much straight away as he got to us as well. Now, I've got him in. Looking at his stats, they're solid pretty much across the board. Um, not pacey anymore, which you'd expect from a 35-year-old, but just solid. And um, he does have a, a fairly ambitious personality. Now, at this level, it would be nice if you could get some professional um, personality guys in. But I'm just thinking I, it would be good to have his experience for the rest of the season. Um, we've got a couple of young wingers there um, with uh, Nathan and uh, Ben Morris, who would and could do very well from sort of play, um, being in sort of mentoring groups with, with Kaide so yeah get him in and get him into the team get him onto the um, the, the the ladder with regards to dynamics and, and go from there and hopefully just yeah seven months with a 16 and 18 year old will be a really really good thing last but not least Josh Wakefield now all these guys have come to the clubs as trialists as well um, what I'm finding with the scouting is they are unearthing some really nice talent. They just don't want to come because we're too far away. Um, we're looking at clubs from sort of Dorset area up into the West Country. Um, and yeah, they can't offer the money to relocate because we're too far away, which is unfortunate. But that's the way it is. It's Guernsey. It's a long way away from the mainland. But yeah, Josh came in. I uh, see 25-year-old. Ball winning midfield, I've not got any of them. Well, I hadn't had any of them until we, we purchased them or purchased them, brought him in in person. No money changed hands, just his wages. Um, he has the ability of also playing slightly up from where he plays and slightly back in the defensive midfield area as well, which is quite useful. Not that I ever foresee us using that because we use a three in the middle, so yeah. Um, very good mentors I like the mentors the only thing is the five determination which is a little bit off-putting but he's got really good teamwork and work rate and good vision useful physicals but not amazing got 12 natural fitness which is good um decent first touch decent passing decent marking yeah i think i do a good job um when we have a look i'll have a quick look at the team report if you have a look at the squad depth now so jane comes in second best midfielder Hyde is the best winger we have and Calvin is the best striker we have so they're all um, good signings with regards to you know, sort of yeah, bringing our team on a little bit this RJ Pingling is an interesting player on trial at the moment he started at Burnley did play for Mersion last season um, only played seven games and I don't think we're going to get any more people in now because we've got we're only 700 quid below wage budget so I don't want to go any higher than that because financially we are very slightly in the red but we are getting two to three hundred people more per game through the gates so we're making a little bit of money that way anyway the three they're the three players that have come to the club uh, and they're apart from Kai who's injured and is also going to go on international duty you will see um, Mr Calvin and Mr Wakefield um, in the next couple of games hopefully um, so let's go and have a look at the five games that were played off camera we actually played a friendly as well because we had a, a free sort of two week window so I wanted to play a friendly but I'll just show you the five league games that we played 
First up was a yeah impressive two one win against Harlow. Um, a lot of the teams we played so far have been very close to the top of the table when we played them. So I mean Harlow were top, so it's really interesting that we we could get in there and and get the win. Um, yeah, Ben Morris opened the scoring. Frankie Boyd made it two 0 They came back two one after fifty six minutes and made the last thirty minutes a little bit less um, appealing for me than it would have been otherwise. Uh, it was a little bit of a squeaky bum moment at times. Um, if we look at the stats, yeah, pretty even really. Uh, we did have sixty one percent possession versus their thirty nine. They were playing the um, sort of four was it yeah four one four one or four one two three depends on where you look at it. And I didn't feel that either of their wingers were that far advanced. Um, so yeah, it was a really good result I think. Next up, nil nil draw against Carl Shelton, who weren't particularly high up the league at the at the time, and unfortunately Joe missed a penalty. So yeah, that was that was a shame. Uh, if you see their formation, four five one, we will discuss Carl Shelton in a little bit because I have never seen a start to the season like Carl Shelton have got. Never seen it anywhere. So yeah, we'll have a look at that in a sec. That was followed up by a 1-1 draw against Margate away and they nicked a draw. They scored in the 83rd. Real shame. If we have a look at the stats, um, yeah, slightly more shots than them. But then we weren't particularly good, <laughs> unfortunately. We did that possession again, though. 57%, so that was good. Next league game, 1-0 win against Hayward Teeth. Jamie Kelvin opening his uh, tally for the club on his debut. So that was superb. Let's have a, just have a quick look at the goal. Um, it was a, a very good poacher's goal. So we've got Charlie Fripp to Calvin and back to Govain to Arthur. And massive clearance. Then Brucey clips it over. Not Nothing doing. Nathan gets it to Tom, gets to Charlie. Back to Arthur. Lovely ball over and Calvin was just Johnny on the spot. So yeah, no, it was a, a nice goal, nice teamwork goal. But uh, yeah, yeah, one nil. Hayward Heath came up with us. They won our league last season, so it was a yeah good to get the win. Seems like we've progressed quite well since we've come up. Last but yeah, very much least, uh, a ball draw nil nil against Leverhead. Um, if we look at the the stats, there's only 14 shots in total in the whole game, and we had 64 percent possession and just could not get through them. Um, seen us a lot this season that's why I'm, I'm hoping that with strengthening our front line we might be able to get in the goals a bit more we did it once we scored five against Kingstonian but that was more a midfield effort I feel um, yeah just a, a shame really <laughs> but nil nil another point isn't it and um, one thing you might have gathered from that is we've still not lost a league game so let's have a quick look at the league table as it is, and we are fifth. Uh, played nine, won four, drawn five, lost none with a goal difference of eight. So we're in contention at the moment after what, almost a quarter of the league games. I did say we were going to have a look at Carl Shorten. Carl Shorten played nine, won zero, drawn eight, lost one, goals for zero, goals against one. Now, I thought we were good defensively. We did miss a penalty against them as well. They let one goal in in nine games, and uh, what are they? Sort of seventh bottom <laughs> on eight points. I've never, ever seen anything like that. No, it's just, yeah, sort of a bit of mind blowing that is. If we have a quick look at Carl Shorten, they've actually won a cup game 3 0 um, somehow. You know, they beat Tower Hamlets in the FA Cup. Look at this for a string of results. So the state of this: nil, 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 nil. Lost one nil, 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 nil. Lost one nil in the, the uh, replay. Nil, 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 nil. Five four one defensive. That's what's happened. So yeah, I can't get over that. <laughs> it's just crazy. But yeah, I'm sure that could happen in real life. I yeah, there's enough games played around the world every day for these sorts of things to occur so yeah <laughs> still interesting nonetheless so we're here today for the game against Hartley Wintney who are bottom of the league so get ready to lose because that's what normally happens um, we have yeah, Callum at the back playing his sweeper keeper role 
Harry Tobin, who's been an absolute legend this season on his 7.61 average play. And he just, yeah, rampages up this left wing. Um, yeah. Tommy Bruce, looking at him, doesn't look amazing, does it? But 18 years old and he has been an absolute rock at the centre of defence. Really brilliant season, all told at the moment. Uh, 7.14. And you look at all of our defenders, they're all 7.1 or above, which says a lot. And even Callum's almost 7.1. Shows how strong we've been defensively because we've only lit four goals in, in the league this season so far. Frankie Boy, um, yeah, in, on the cover. He does seem to like cover better. I think Brucey does as well, but I'd rather have it that way around. It seems to work well. And uh, Charlie Fripp uh, playing this sort of wing back, full back. Somebody's going to maraud up this wing, um, try and, and get some crosses in. Then we've got Charlton playing the attacking um, centre mid. Our new signing. Mr. Josh Wakefield is playing this central area, but as a support ball winning midfielder. And I've chosen to put Arthur slightly further to the right or slightly over to whichever side has is lacking this um, winger in a defensive role to try and shore that up. And then we've got, yeah, Tom Bearwish. Uh, yeah, ignore the Reds. He looks like he could be really good with his physicals and his good heading, but He's just not, not started particularly well. Yeah, Jamie Kelvin. Yeah, hoping for good things from him. Now, Charlie Higgins is out injured. He should be back in the yeah, next couple of games, I should imagine, hopefully. And that leaves, yeah, Jordan, Tom, Sean, Steve, Ben, Frank and Robbie all on the bench. So, yeah, hoping for a good one. It will be brilliant to get a win. Get us up to 20 points. Um, we If we look at the competitions again... Uh, the boss stick and if we have a look at the profile uh, not the profile sorry season preview we are still 22nd 250 to 1 to go down in 22nd place so I think we've started amazingly and um, God, what team has got all of these is this Worthing yeah now that's interesting that is because um, yeah we we played Worthing and we should have beaten them near the start of the season uh, it was just a Harry Tobin own goal that, that gave him a point. So, um, yeah, shows how well we've done, really. So, yeah, this is the team we're going to start with. Um, as I said, this has got to be a must win against the team in 22nd. They're playing a formation that we like playing against as well, which is good. Um, let us assertively say... We've been on a good run, knowing that that oh, it actually did do well. God. Hardly ever get any sort of good reactions or reactions at all from the first speech I give to everybody. Let's just be passionate and say faith in you. End the team talk. Set the opposite oppo instructions. We're actually I'm going to take him on take off. We always press the forward when they're the forward on their own, but we never man mark them because our, our cover tends to do that we always will push and be tight on the defensive midfielder it seems to do us very well with regards to our tactics especially when we've got a pressing forward who can sit on that um, defensive midfielder so yeah yeah that's cool and um yeah i'll join you for the kickoff all right we kicked off we have the ball um it would be nice to get an early goal. But they have the ball initially. So Salmons on to Drew. This is a big pitch. Chiadini. And Harry Tobin there to cut it out. Come on, Tom. Get on your, on your bike, mate. He's got it. It's such a wide pitch, this one. Got men over. Come on. Put it over. Oh, what the hell's happened there? That looks like that's hit the bar and come down to the goalkeeper's hands, but... That was a good break. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Good break. Nathan Rose swinging the ball over. Yes, and that's got in somehow. And that's an Oggy, is it? <laughs> it did look like it was pinging about a bit, but yeah, good goal nonetheless. Lovely little ball over from Nathan. Back post. Charlton's hit it, and it looks like it's yeah, just coming off the defender. That'll do. 1 0. Cool. 
I can deal with that. And we're up into third at the moment uh, after 10 games of a 42 game season. So, yeah, still got plenty of time to to drop down the league or even, yeah, push on. Because we beat Harringay Borough, who are in second. And we draw, drew with Worthing. And we beat Harlow, who are in fifth. And we drew with Chestnut, who are in sixth. And we smashed Kingstonian, who are in ninth at the moment. So we are. Yeah, I think we deserve to be where we are at the moment, really do. Yeah, just looking at the um, conditions, they're a little bit low at the moment, and this is because I think both of us played on Wednesday and this is a Saturday. Um, so this is something to look at. I, I know for the, we, we haven't got a game until um, next weekend, which will be the FA Trophy. Now, I think this is going to be a really long episode, so I think I might cut it at the end of this and then you can go take you straight to the trophy afterwards in the next episode but yeah okay so that went really really fast as a half one nil up they've had a couple of bookings only seven shots in total in the whole game but we have 61% possession and Josh Wakefield is playing well which is superb so if we got a team talk uh, things are going well and you weren't that bad. <laughs> they seem to think that they should be 4 0 up, which I like because it's showing that they're not settling for just winning. They want to win and win well. So let's have a look at this. Josh Wakefield's only on a 72%, but he's only on an 88% match fitness at the moment. And he is doing a lot of motoring, I think, by the looks of it. I'm going give him, to give him 10, I think. And then we're going to revert back to the way we usually play. So we've got Tom and we've got Sean that can come on. So, yeah. <clears throat> Let's do that. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So they've got the ball. Guffrey. And Arthur gets in there and nicks it and goes. 71%, wouldn't you? Right, our ball. Nathan. Good corner. Nobody there. And they're going to break. Aziz on the ball. Oh, they've done well there. Nick T is going to run off the corner. Oh, he's at the post. Wow. We got very lucky there. What are you doing, Charlie? I have a bare wish. And nothing coming of it. Right, I'm going to make a change. Yeah. Josh Wakefield is both booked and on 69%. So I think it's time for you to come off. I'm going to push. Arthur back into his defensive centre mid, and I'm going to have a going to have Charlton attacking up this side just to change things around a bit. I'm going to change Tom Bear, which is a side across, just to change things, just to get him thinking. And that leaves who do I bring on? Now Sean is the better at the support role. It tends to be a little bit prone to giving the ball away though which is a bit worrying but our defence has been so strong this year and Callum has been amazing I think we can deal with that right but anything else I need to change don't think so at the moment I'm not going to focus play through the middle I'm going to leave it more open to them and that is good I think I'm going to confirm the changes and play let's see I want us to go more direct now. I'm not actually seeing that from our our assistant manager, but Charlie Fripp. Nick the ball, nobody there. What's Howe's gonna do? Oh was that not in? Crikey. Nearly another one of those crazy back passes. Right, so they're looking absolutely shattered. I might take this opportunity to I think Arthur's going to come off. We've got a ready-made replacement in Tom Delamere. I think because our engine room is this centre mid. Yeah. We can keep that fit. They've got the ball. Oh, it's over. Um, if we can, yeah, keep them and the engine good. Oh, they've got the ball again. And it's... Oh, it's off the line they shouldn't be getting this close it's Nathan great cross 
Oh, sure, Stuart, just wide. Really do need to get this game to bed. Um, so no, I just we seem to be not connecting with the forwards. I'm really struggling with this because I've not got the attacking midfielder, but. I just like the fact the centre mid in attack is doing a little bit more than an attacking midfielder would. Um, we do pack that midfield out. Right. Um, Robbie Leg or Calvin for Calvin or Frank for Bearwish. I'm going to go Frank. And you're going to play in your pressing forward defend role. And he's left footer as well, so that's right side. Let's confirm that. Yeah, let's play. Frank to Charlie, to Charlton, to Sean, to Tom. Use it across, that's it, Nathan. Taking a run at them. Oh, back to Harry. He lost confidence in his ability to get through there, Nathan. To Harry, to Sean, and nothing doing. So Frank. Come on and make a difference, my boy. See, Harry's on 7.3 again. Stunning. Right, Drew, ball over. Oh, no! That was a crazy finish. It looked like it had been coming, though. We'd just not quite done enough there. Oh. Right. No, he wasn't off. Yeah, well, the, they did have a guy off, but he wasn't inter interfering with play at all. Yeah, this is a shame, a real shame. Let's have a think what we can do about this. I think we go really wide. Focus pay down the left. Hit early crosses. See if we can get anything. And they've got the ball again. Pal, oh, oh my god. <laughs> We've been well and truly FM'd here. They just come back into it. Good ball over. And yeah, stunning stunning, stunning strike. I mean, Cannon do anything about that one at all. Right, attack him. It's going to be the first loss of the season, which is not good. All three subs done. I'm gonna make, yeah, put Charlton as a uh, shadow striker. <laughs> Good messing about. Hope was play down the middle, we'll take the underlap off. Overlap right, overlap left. I think that's all we can do really. Um, just go extremely high tempo. Out possession, let's go really high up the pitch as well. And attack, and we have five minutes, and I can't see us doing anything with it. <coughs> I did say we're going to lose, because that's what happens in FM against the lower teams when you're demolishing the teams at the top. Alright, 30 seconds. And we're nipped in, Calvin. Ball out to Nathan. To Harry. He's rampaging down the wing there. Ball over. Nobody there. Tom. Oh, no. Yeah, not meant to be today, unfortunately. And that's that. And we've lost 2-1. Absolutely shocking. They did have more shots, even though we only had 61% position. I think that was, uh, yeah, coming to the end of a streak of games there. And we just look tired. Yeah, not good. Not good. Right, I'm going to leave it there because this has been a long episode anyway, talking about the five games off camera and whatnot. And I'll come back for the FA Trophy game, which is going to be against Brighton and Sea Regent. So, um, yeah, look forward to, to playing that and hopefully getting a, a, a run in the trophy. So, if you like what you've seen today, obviously, um, please leave a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe for this sort of content, hopefully, with us winning rather than bloody losing every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And uh, see you soon. Cheers. Bye.